Welcome to AppCraft Tutorial 3, Lesson 3. In this final lesson, we'll finish our first game. When we last left you, we had two birds who would each move to the opposite corners of a game screen looking for their dinner. The bird that got there first won. But there was no way to involve the players in the winning or losing. This final part of our lesson will do that. What if there were a red yellow and green light that changed colors and when it got to green you and your partner got to start the birds. Whoever got to their bird first got a head start. In this lesson this is exactly what we're going to learn how to program. Before we start once again click edit then plus and then the plus sign one more time to create a copy of this stage of your game development. That way your original game will stay intact and only the new changes will be reflected in this new copy. Let's take a look at the scenario for one of our characters. Click on the top left bird and look at the scenario. This scenario starts when the game starts after start. But how about if we change the way the game started so that you had to actually touch the bird in order to start the game. Click on after start and then change event handler. By this is called an event. Changing the event handler will bring you to a new screen. An event is a series of instructions that are grouped together that start after a certain action. Until now, all our events have started when we started the game. But with this one, we want the bird to start moving on touch. Notice this one that says on touch begin with this actor. That means when you touch this actor, this series of instructions will start. This is the event handler that we want for our instructions now. So let's change it. Notice that now the scenario for your top left bird no longer starts when the game starts. Instead, it starts on touch begin when you touch the bird. At the very bottom, we have a new instruction, instruction that says stop event handler. That means if this bird wins, go ahead and do this set of instructions, but the final instruction is to actually stop this event or this series of instruction. Go ahead and change your bird scenario to match the ones on this screen. Of course, you'll have to do the same thing to the bottom right bird. Click on its scenarios and change the after start event change the event handler for the bottom right bird Select on touch begin with this actor. Now your bottom right bird starts when you touch it. All the other instructions pretty much stay the same. Don't forget to add stop event handler at the very bottom. So far, all our actors have actually been actors or characters in our game. This time we're going to create an actor, but it's going to be a flashing light that also gives us some brief directions and triggers us to start the game. We're going to create an actor that has three different images. To do this, go ahead and hit the plus sign and choose a new actor, and then hit add new image and use the red paint to create a circle in the middle of the dark gray area. If you mess up, it's okay. Just erase and start again. It might be helpful to hit the plus sign and zoom into 200% to 
to make your drawing area a little bit bigger. For this actor, which is just a red circle, keep hitting at an image and then draw a yellow circle and a green circle so that this actor has three different images. The next step will involve clicking on the T for text and changing the font of the text to maybe 10 and perhaps a white color and center it and then type in tap your bird when the light turns green. This will put some text on top of the red circle. You may have to play around a little bit to get it just right. You'll also want to give this actor a name. I called mine Directions. And then we'll want to give scenarios or instructions to this actor. These directions are not too complex. When the game starts, we'll use an event trigger call after start. Wait a few seconds. Change the image of the actor to self, the next image. Started with red, it probably will go to yellow. Wait a few more seconds, then change the image of the actor to the next image. Remember that the third image is green. Then wait a few seconds and hide the directions of the actor. That's it. These are simple instructions, but they will add an element of play to your game so that you and a friend can be on guard and when the light turns green, you both tap your bird and whoever gets to it first probably has a slight advantage. Congratulations! You have just finished creating your very first game using AppCraft. We look forward to working with you in future tutorials to add more advanced concepts to your games or other playful inventions.